Hi, this is Mrs. Trupti Ashok Pawar from Department of Pharmaceutics, Kashi Bhai College of Pharmacy, Konva, Pune. And today I am going to deal with the topic that is nano suspension. This video, one can understood what is nano suspension, then what is nano toxicological classification system and how the nano suspensions are formulated. Now, what is nano suspension? Nano suspensions are the colloidal particles or the colloidal dispersion in which the particles are dispersed in a solution which is having a particle size less than or in the range of nanometers. Then, why to go for nano suspension? As we know that most of the pharmaceutical ingredients or the APIs are not going in a market due to the lack of its solubility and permeability. So enhance its solubility. It is important to reduce its particles in a smaller ranges and hence nano suspension technology is used. Nano suspension increases the surface area of the particles by reducing its particle size. Then it converts the crystalline drug to amorphous form. Then it increases the saturation solubility of drug. Then it increases the dissolution rate. It enhances the viability of the drug. It reduces the particle size and increases the surface area. And hence these all parameters are useful to enhance the viability and the stability of the drugs by using nano suspension technique. The nanotoxicological classification system. Here, the toxicity of the nanoparticles has been proposed, and this can be determined by using this NCS classification. Here, the nanotoxicological classification system is divided into the four classes class 1, in which the nanoparticles are having the particle size of 100 nanometers and they are biodegradable with the body and hence they can be easily interacted with the human cells while class 2 indicates the particle size which is having above 100 nanometers and here they are non biodegradable with the human body while class 3 shows the particle size below 100 nanometer and their biodegradability is with human body while the class 4 indicates the sizes below 100 nanometer and it is non biodegradable and non biocompatible with the body here this classification is generally done between the sizes of the nanoparticles and the interaction of the sizes with the human cells so in the class 1 and class 2 they doesn't causes any endocytosis in the human body while class 3 and class 4 causes endocytosis of the particles into the human body here the sizes are generally persistency is generally classified into biodegradable and non biodegradable means their compatibility with the human beings and here the sizes are classified above and below 100 nanometer so class 1 which indicates a green signal and class 2 which indicates a yellow oh, sorry class 3 which indicates a yellow signal can be used for formulation of fabrication of nano suspension now Next is the formulation of nano suspension. Nano suspensions are generally formulated by two techniques that is top down technology and bottom up technology. In top down, there are two techniques which are used. It is wet media milling technique and high pressure homogenization technique. Here I am going to give the example of the wet media milling technique in which a suitable solvent is generally used in which the nifedipine particles a nifedipine drug is dispersed into that solution and the initial particle size of nifedipine is 10 to 15 micrometer. Next, to this solution, a 
zirconium beads with a ratio of higher to lower particle size has been added depending upon the volume of the particles and they are kept in the wet medium milling uh, for the uh, optimized hours so as there should be a attrition between the particles and the zirconium beads so that there should be a reduction in the particle size and finally after particular optimized time we will get the nepidipin nanoparticles or nano suspension which is a clear solution and it is having the particle size of 300 to 400 nanometers then after this this formulation is further characterized for the various viability dissolution studies and hence uh, for stability also we can determine the various parameters to determine whether there is an enhancement in the solubility or the stability of that compound. Thank you.